Thanks for tuning in. This is Dillis Davis, lifestyle coach, motivator, speaker, author, and founder and creator of the Sip and Chat movement. Today is Saturday, December 12th. Happy Saturday, everybody. I have my Tyra Beauty makeup on, but not only that, one of my guests, um, who is the founder and CEO of Pink Stilettos Cosmetic, Crystal Carmen, who's going to be here today. I actually have on my Liquid Dream Foundation. And, oh, here comes Crystal now. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Hi, Crystal. Um, <laughs> Put your earphones in. Huh? Can you put your earphones in? My earphones? Yeah, your headphones, if you can, because the noise in the background. Okay. Your hair looks nice. I can't hear you. Okay, that's fine. So yes, guys, I have the beautiful Crystal Carmen, as you can see her right now. And as well as, hi, Dia. Hi. <laughs> and Dia Viola. Um, amazing singer, songwriter, philanthropist. So we have both amazing ladies here on the show today. How are you guys doing? How are you, Dia? I'm doing great today. So excited to be here. Awesome. You look pretty with your little glasses yeah, on. My little glasses on. <laughs> your little glasses on. To match you. <laughs> to match me, right? <laughs> to match you. So, well, I'm so excited to have both you ladies on the show. I actually... Um, was going through one of my pocketbooks and I found something from Crystal Carmen that she gave to me. I think, I think it was last year. I don't remember, but it was a sample of runway lip whip and I actually have it on right now. <laughs> so not only do I have one, the runway lip whip, but I have the liquid dream foundation as well. Cause I just got it in the mail the other day. I was like, ah, I got my liquid dream foundation. It's the best foundation I've ever had in my whole entire life. So I actually, love Crystal Carmen stuff. So pretty much. So thanks for tuning in guys to Sip and Chat Movement online hour show where we're going to be sipping respectfully and chatting res respect, well, shipping responsibly and chatting respectively. I just finished doing my first Periscope as lifestyle coach, Dillis Davis. Normally I do Hello. Sip and Chat Movement. Yep. Hi, Crystal. I hear you now much better. <laughs> just make it short. <laughs> Perfect. Hi, everyone. I'm straight from Brazil. Hello. From Brazil. Oh, from Brazil. Oh, it must be I my see. sister. <laughs> must be your sister. Yeah, it's my twin sister. <laughs> twin. Whoa. So, Crystal, tell everybody who you are, what you do, where you're from, what you're doing. Okay, so I am from Pennsylvania. Um, I'm from Brookhaven, Pennsylvania. Not originally. I'm an, I'm actually a New York uh, native, but. Um, I live in Pennsylvania now. I am a cosmetic formulator, a beauty educator, the beauty edu uh, beauty editor for two um, magazines, one online, one in print. Um, and I also uh, teach a class called Consort and Flawless. And my hobby is actually making purses. <laughs> you make purses? I didn't know that. I've known you for so long and I didn't even know you make purses. I make clutches. <laughs> That's my hobby. Okay, so you know you got to send me a clutch, right? I'm just saying. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. What are you sipping on today? Um, actually, I was deciding whether or not I was going to do wine or just some, you know, just juice. So it's just grape juice today, ladies. Okay, so I have green tea today. You got green tea? You know what it is? It's oh, I need my cup. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Anna, get my cup. <laughs> You need your cup. Well, it's 12.04, so I feel like I need to tone it down a little bit. I know it's 5 o'clock somewhere, but this morning, afternoon, Delis is having green tea today. So having green, green tea. tea. Yeah, green right. tea. So, Dia, tell us what you do and where you're from and what you up to these days. What's going on? 
All right. So <clears throat> my first name actually <clears throat> is pronounced Dea. Dea. So let me tell you a Hi. funny story about that. Because when people have, I get called Dia a lot, which is okay. fine. I go by Dia too. But the good way to remember is when I say my name is Dea, either people say over there or they'll say Deo. <laughs> and like, in so it's a good way to remember Deo, Dea. And of course, there was one time. When uh oh. It, it happens from time to time. I, I think she's on a, a specific laptop or something. So we'll, we'll continue where she picks off up. She'll get okay, me. so I'm going to sip on my cup. <laughs> <laughs> Shameless plug. <laughs> but yeah, I found um, the lip whip in a bag of mine that I was going through uh, actually this morning. And it's so funny how you're coming on the show this morning and I found a lip whip. That's, that's definitely no accident. No accident. No accident. So I was like, oh, and I put it on. I was like, oh my God, I love it. <laughs> yeah, that's one of my best selling colors. Um, <clears throat> it's often the color you'll find out of stock. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm actually working on batching it in larger batches. So that way it's not out of stock. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. And so it was available in a palette too. You know, the Lip Whip palette. Mm -hmm. You can always get it. And here's another thing too, people don't know. With the palette, you don't have to choose five separate colors. Mm -hmm. So if you love runway, you could make runway two of those. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Why not? Well, then again, palette. then again, it is, <laughs> it is Crystal Carmen. So uh, the F1. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great stuff. But um, so yeah, when did you start Pink Stilettos? What 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 was the idea behind it? How did you come up with the name and everything? Okay, well, um, Pink, I like to say that Pink Stiletto started as an idea um, one year before I actually launched it. So we're going back to 2008. Mm -hmm. um, I was uh, uncomfortable with my current situation. Um, I just didn't feel like, you know, like a lot of job security. Um, I loved makeup. I was doing makeup and I felt like the products that I were using were extremely expensive and in relation to what I was getting out of them. So they weren't showing up properly. Um, I was, they weren't very hyperpigmented. And um, I just felt that I kind of wanted a little bit more if I was gonna spend that kind of money. Um, so I wrote out into like a, a standard notebook. I just wrote out this like map, I guess, where I was like, here's my cosmetic line. It's gonna be called Janique and at the time, oh my God. But it was gonna be called Janique. And, um, he, you know, I was going to do a New York collection and a Milan collection and um, and I wrote it down and I said, I'm going to put this book away because this is what I'm going to be doing. And um, I lost the book. I couldn't find it. And then I was supposed to move. And I, while I was moving, I found the book and I opened the book and I read the book and it just re-inspired me. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and I started I started looking, uh, you know, to get equipment, but I wasn't really feeling empowered. You know, I, I didn't really trust myself at the time. And I actually ended up getting a, uh, an inbox message from someone who's a life coach like yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, and they offered me a, a complimentary session. And I, uh, I spoke to her and she just asked me, you know, why was I waiting? Why was I stalling? Why was I putting myself on hold? Mm -hmm. Yep. And, uh, and she was right. Like, I didn't like the questions. And I'll be honest with you, I was a little frustrated. Mm -hmm. um, no one had no one had ever spoken to me in that fashion. No one was as, ever as bluntly honest with me before. Wow! Um, really? And yeah, yeah. And and it caused it caused me to self reflect. She was like, "You got to change the way your Facebook is. You got to, you know, you're a smart girl." She actually knew me, so she's like, um, "She's my aunt um, uh, by uh, marriage," and she's like, yeah, "You're a smart girl, Crystal. Um, just take a look at, you, at what you want to do and and see if you're doing the things that are going to make you get there." And when I evaluated myself over those next few days and and thought about it, I wasn't happy. I wasn't happy with that. I wanted more. Yeah, and um, and so I was encouraged, inspired by that, and um, I started out by one little order, and I messed it up. My first, my first eyeshadow was terrible. <laughs> like, <laughs> it was completely terrible. The glitter was falling out everywhere. Um, I finally got to like a few formulas I liked, but you were actually involved in one of the things that created the the lip whip, which is my best selling um lip product, and. 
it was because, and this is the this is a story um, to show you that making mistakes and 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 getting criticism isn't always a bad thing. So um, you were in on a call, and, and I was um, offering my lipsticks. Um, and oh, there was a young I remember! Kid. I remember that call. I'm actually putting right. on my lip whip. Excuse me. <laughs> you, why you whip your lips? So I was on the call, um, and I was being interviewed. And guess who was on the call? This woman who happened to be like besties with someone in, in corporate at Sephora. Uh-huh. And so she was like, I want to place an order. And I think you placed an order and she placed an order. Mm-hmm. And it was, it was for my very first lip gloss at the time. And um, I got the feedback because, you know, I always ask, you know, how did you like the product? Did you enjoy it? Et cetera. And she said, um, I like the product. I like the color. You know, it's really, it's a very, very pretty color. It's different, but um, your the lipstick itself, the formula of the gloss is just too thin, too mm-hmm. runny. Mm-hmm. And, and, you know, other people would have taken that as like, oh my God, I should stop what I'm doing. My glasses suck. Mm-hmm. Um, and, but I said, oh, if she wants, she wants to say it's runny, mm-hmm. I'm going to make the thickest <laughs> lip gloss I'm gonna make the thickest lip gloss she's ever seen, and that's gonna net never gonna be a complaint in this <laughs> life, like ever. And and I took it and I made it, and unfortunately, I like lost her contact information somehow, so I wasn't able to send her this like new and improved version of the of the lip lip gloss. But I said it's so thick, I'm gonna call it a lip whip because it's just thick and 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 you gotta whip it and and um and so that's how I, that was born and um a model placed an order for some eyeshadows daniela she's a plus size model phenomenal woman um and she placed my, her first order and she shared it on her facebook page and then the next thing you know like i'm getting orders it was crazy that's that's how you do it that's how you do it <laughs> hi dear welcome back i went to brazil <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I, was <laughs> I don't know what happened. I got signed off before I, so I had to re-upload everything. You That's know. not a problem. Um, so but anyway, sh- should I pick up where I left off? Yes, please pick up where. Okay. You yes. So this is who I am. Hi, Crystal. Hi, honey. Love your lipstick, by the way. Beautiful. So uh, you. Before, before, so- before Daya starts, Daya says that she um. Pretty much can't she what is it about the lipstick you said that you can't find your, your shade of lipstick or yes not, not I, crystal, wear, I can only you. wear nude color a very subtle nude color or just a clear gloss anytime I put red lipstick I, I I look like another person my lips don't look as nice I just feel like like a mug shot kind of not that I've ever had one but um I kind of like don't like myself in colors so I try to be as natural as possible so okay. I don't I don't wear a lot of colors you anyway. Give, you have it. to give me a chance. You got to give me a chance. This is what it is. That's what you get. You know, I don't put a lot of stuff on. Usually just plain, less is more type of thing. But I love it, though. I love it in other people, which is, you know. So right. Anyway, so who I am, right? I'm Dea Viola. I'm a, I just turned 50. Woo-hoo! I'm a mom of five. My children uh, range in ages from 6 to 28 years old, almost 28. Um, and um, I'm a singer-songwriter. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a philanthropist. I do a lot of things, a lot of things. Uh, before I start, of course, I wanted to just say thank you, Dillis, for having me on your show. You're I welcome. met Dillis. I met Dillis this past weekend in an amazing, amazing event. Aww. I couldn't say enough about it. Uh, we went to the vision board party with the fabulous, fabulous Lucinda Cross. Um, we went to a vision board party, and I was actually performing at the event. And I met Dillis there. Uh, so beautiful to be surrounded by beautiful women. We were all different, came from all different backgrounds, but the room was filled with love, support, um, much like Lucinda, you know, because Lucinda is such a worldly person um, and, and so loving, so but, fierce, but and so her humble. Was, and her outfit was on fleek. She had on this um, one shoulder type. Uh, elegant dress with a jeans jacket on with some right. um some it, some break dance sneakers it was so yeah. cute the outfit so, was cute so beautiful whatever she does turns into gold so mm-hmm. what i wanted to do first was do just tell everybody about her next vision board party this vision board party last yes, weekend like sold out, right 
sold out. So there was one in, I believe it's Westchester, New York, in January 2016. Uh -huh. uh, you can look her up at lucindacross.com, Vision Board right. Party 2016. People, you don't want to miss this opportunity because I think the vision boards are such an amazing platform because it's almost like, okay, so you have this vision, right? You have a dream or an idea. You're not quite sure where it's going. I started doing my vision board and other things popped up. I was like, whoa, I didn't think about that before. As you're going through the magazines and you're trying to figure out, you know, put your plan together, I realized that you're really setting your intention forth. You're putting your intention into the vortex in the universe. So powerful, so beautiful. I came home, I hung up my, my vision board in my bedroom. Every day I go over the words. Yes, I hope that it's whatever that I wish is according to God's plan. I really do. Uh, I'm open. I'm open for it. Um, I actually found a quote this morning that really, <laughs> I thought it was funny. Uh, it one says- question, Daya, One question, Daya. What do yes. you drink? You didn't tell me what you were oh, drinking? Oh, yeah, no, I will. I'll get to that next. But just <laughs> before I go to the next thing, which also has to do with Lucinda Cross, which is really cute, it feels good to be lost in the right direction. And I think they don't mean lost as you don't know what the heck you're doing. Lost in the sense that you're not really sure yet where you're going, but you're open. Because mm -hmm. when you are in the right direction, if you're open, then other opportunities will come that you might have thought, well, I might have not done that. But hey, I'm doing it now. So anyway, to the, what I'm drinking, okay, I thought I would share a special little something that I do every day. And reason why this has to do with the vision board party is because I got this beautiful little glass at, in my little swag bag for the vision board party. I didn't get a, I didn't get a little glass. I'm going to call her up right now and be yeah. like, where's my little glass at? I, I want my know. glass for my sip and chat hour show. <laughs> oh, no, this is so cute. And what I do is that I mix um, 16 ounces of regular, just water. Today, I actually did lemon lime seltzer water just to give a little zing with two tablespoons full of apple cider vinegar. And I put a little splash of grape juice and a little lemon wedge to give a little zing to it. I drink apple cider vinegar every day. Uh, obviously I use my regular 16 ounce glass, but today again for this beautiful sit and chat show, um, this glass again was one of the gifts at the vision board party. So the, you know, the gift that keeps on giving because I feel like I went to the vision board party and ever since there's all these great things happening like you being here with you today. So it's awesome, it's so awesome. So definitely recommending and thumbs up for everybody. And a big shout out. Hi, Lucinda, if you're watching, we love you. Um, so excited to be here. So, okay. so what, what, when did you start? Um, when did you know that you were going to be singing and um, being a songwriter and stuff? How did that happen? Okay, so um, this particular um, songwriting um, journey that I'm in now, I'm a Christian singer songwriter, just started about three years ago, but I've always been in the performing arts. I grew up as a dancer. Um, I moved here from the from Brazil about 32 years ago with a scholarship with the Joffre Ballet and later on with the Alvinelli American Dance Theater. I was always involved in the arts. Um, I got to ha I did a movie part, a dancing part, and ballroom dancing for the movie Scent of a Woman, the Al Pacino oh, Scent of a Woman. I and I was, the, I was the stand in for camera and lighting, so nobody really saw me. But I was in this on the set with them, helping mark the spaces for camera and lighting. And um, during that, that those three days that I was on the set, a man by the name of Jerry Mitchell, who was, was at the time the assistant to Jerome Robbins, walked up to me and said, do you sing? And I was like, well, and I grew up playing the guitar and my, my sister's a musical, but I've never sang professionally. No, I'm not a trained singer. Well, he said, you should. So after that day, I started uh, taking voice lessons and then started going on to different auditions. And it was so singing became a part of my life, of my everyday practiced every day. Um, later on, if you fast forward, about eight years ago, I was invited by a good friend of my church to be a part of a Christian, uh, not a Christian, sorry, a classic uh, classic and country rock, rock and roll band, which mm -hmm. has been a great platform for me as a performer, because for the past eight years, I've been on stage um, and performing and meeting people and just getting more and more comfortable with performing. About three years ago, I was approached by a pastor and, and she says, you know, I love your spirit. I think you're such a spiritual person. And why aren't you writing Christian music? Mm -hmm. I was like, I don't know. I don't I haven't been called to do it. I wouldn't even know where to start. I mean, I wrote songs as a child. I was just, uh, I've been writing music all my life, but only when I feel like it. It's not like I've sat every day and said, I'm going to write music today. Whenever I heard something or I thought of something cute to write, I would write it. 
So it wasn't something that was on my daily cards, but I did say to her, I'm going to pray about it. Mm -hmm. If this is something that's meant to be, obviously it'll come to me. Mm -hmm. Um, She says, I'm going to keep you on my prayers too. So about three years ago, in the middle of the night, if you can believe it, I woke up and said, I heard a song. I heard a song in my head. So I walked over to our little piano that we have at home because my my family is very musical. And I um, started writing music. Now, at that time, what's interesting is I didn't, I never played piano before. I never had a lesson. I knew some basic chords, but I've always played the guitar. So it's not like I didn't have notion of music. I did. Um, but I wrote my first song and it was literally like a, I call it a dinosaur skeleton. It was basically like, <laughs> doing, doing, doing. but I got it out there. And, and that's basically how it started. From that on, within the year, I had written 15 songs. Wow. Um, I have two songs that are recorded. I am trying to finish my EP, so I need two more songs. But because I am an independent artist, obviously, I'm looking for a sponsor. So hear that? I'm looking for a sponsor. <laughs> um, uh, it financially is difficult because you have to really um, try of to. Course. And I did get, and I do meet people all the time. And it's a lot of people have been supportive and helpful. Um, but it's going to take a little while. So I figure, you know what? I'm not going to let it stop me. I'm going to put my two songs out there. So I am on Bandcamp. I am on iTunes. I am have different platforms that I'm on. And just hoping and praying that um, let's see what God has in store for me. I'm sure something will, will open up. But that's pretty much how it all happened. Very, you know. So, I mean, Crystal can can definitely speak on um, that entrepreneur thing where creating is concerned because she has so many... Um, facets to her business is crazy like she does the eyeshadow and then she does the the liner and then the lip whip and then the lip gloss and then the foundation like how how did you manage to get all that going like what was what was how what what was the first steps that you took to start doing what you did um the first steps to to begin a brand Uh, Mm -hmm. i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna say two things uh, behind that uh first thing i want to say because i don't i I, i'm not going to say that i don't work hard because i do but a large part of the change in my life business-wise came the moment i just decided one that i was going to love myself for who i was um and two um just knowing that i deserved more and i deserve better and that i'm capable of anything and when i allowed that concept and that idea into my life suddenly it was no longer um there were no longer barriers if you don't see walls you keep going right mm-hmm. so um so what would happen was uh, every time i was faced with a problem and just if you know referencing what i just told you with the thin lip gloss situation um i don't look as as problems as problems i look at them as challenges and how can i get over to the next step so um what it was is when i saw that the lipsticks were doing well and the eyeshadows were doing well I started to look at the big picture, which is the big picture is I'm a cosmetic brand, right? And so Mm -hmm. when I look at other cosmetic brands, they don't just offer one thing. And and so now I also know that those larger existing brands had some some stuff I don't have, like a large budget and operating collateral (laughs) and all these all these other benefits, you know, outsourcing their their products to be manufactured in other countries and um purchasing their their uh, packaging in bulk and if you look at it from that perspective it would appear to be intimidating and it would stop some Mm -hmm. people but how i said is okay this is what i need to do but how do i do it on a smaller level and and then what i did was i went out there i saw packaging and everything but i sought solutions to still have a presentable package while um, not being able to purchase in the volume as, as a larger company. So I guess what I'm saying is I saw each opportunity is how can I create this to the best of my current abilities? Mm-hmm. And, and that's the best I can do. You can only do the best that you could do at the time with the resources available to you. And, mm-hmm. and so that's what I consistently do. Whatever, whatever resources are available to me, this is the best that I can do today. When, when my five minute makeover kit started, like I have a five minute makeover kit. When it first started, it was in independent jars. There was no form to it. It didn't have brushes or anything. And um, and I had to make this look presentable. How, why would you want to buy it? You know, and the only, yep. the only, you know, people buy things based on look and you can say that it's not true, but let's be real. 
If something is true. If something's prettier, you want to get it. And as humans, we're drawn to things in sets that are cute and, and, and go together and are trouble free. And so I eventually said, okay, well, how do I do this cost effectively? And so I got a bag, I added some brushes. And the moral of the story is I, I saw a challenge and I did it to the best that I can do. And I'm going to continue doing that. And, and as I continue to grow my brand, that is what I can do. Always give your best for what you can do. Now, if I'm not doing my best based on the resources I have, then that just shows my character. But if I'm using mm -hmm. the best of my abilities and the best of my resources around me to make a product and be consistent and make it to the best that I can, it might not be priced as low as some people would like, but they can't say the quality is terrible. Yes, it's that's true. one thing. That's one thing I won't sacrifice. I won't sacrifice my quality and I won't sacrifice my, my reputation. I'm not going to water down my makeup. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's so true. How do you come up with the colors that you choose for your yeah. lip whip or your palettes or anything? Um, I draw inspiration, first of all, from, from uh, events in my environment. Uh, so, for example, I could be go, uh, walking outside and see like a beautiful tree, right? It's fall and the leaves are just turning. And then I'm like, oh, I think it would be gorgeous to have a copper lip whip. And, <laughs> and, and so I run and all of my lip whip, all of my products are inspired by what they represent to me. So one is called Copper Queen. And the reason why is I felt that lip shade was so bold. You had to have like the attitude of a queen of, of you know, be regal to be able to, to pull it off. And then it's queen here. Queen here. Queen here. Well, I guess queen. I'll miss that mode since I don't wear any colors. No. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, so I did that. And then I have another color that's called Dynasty because it reminded me a lot of like, you know, royalty and princess die and, and just, it was so simplistic and, and it was a really soft mauve and I just thought of Dynasty. Um, so it's just, uh, you know, little things like that. But I'm, I draw inspiration from the people, events, and circumstances around me. And then I create uh, that. Another thing that inspires me uh, is when I'm actually filling a new batch, I get curious. And I'm like, this is a pretty brown. But what if I was light skinned? Like, what if I was really, really fair? Would, would this look pretty on me? No, it wouldn't. Okay, let me tweak it and now make something that, that that's suitable. And so that's another thing. Um, I draw my... Uh, a lot of my inspiration too for my existing customers, people who are potentially interested in the brand because it's customizable. I can kind of make my, I don't have any limits and, and I love that. Mm -hmm. Cool. So both of you are married with husbands and kids because I know Crystal, you have how many children? <laughs> Four. <laughs> Four. Yeah. So how do, you, how do you both balance being moms, wives, and business owners? How do you balance? Dea? Um, well, mm. I do a lot of things, <laughs> but I don't do everything every day. This is what I try to tell people. I don't do everything every day. Some things, you know, I do it twice a month, some things once a month. Um, being also a business owner, and I'll tell you about my business in a little bit, because it's a very small business, and I chose to be a small business because it would work for me. As a mom of five, I couldn't have a bigger business and, you know, be a performer and do philanthropy and do all of these things if my business wasn't small. So it's perfect for me. But one of the things that I do, and I do this in every area of my life, is do one thing, at least one thing every day. Some days I can do 10 things. Some days I can only do one thing. But if you stick it with doing one thing every day, guess what? At the end of the week, you've done seven things. At the end of the month, you've done 30. At the end of the year, you've done 365 things towards your goal whether it's to clean up your clutter at home, whether it's to get your business to a better place, if it is to add, you know, new colors, come up with new ideas. One thing every day, you know, I have to say, though, that I agree with um, Crystal, because I think some days, you know, you could really be paralyzed if you start to think of all the things that you need to do in order to get your business to the no another level. I know with my company, I felt paralyzed sometimes because I didn't have a business background, so it was difficult to see how am I going to do this? Some days I really didn't know. And on those days when I thought I couldn't do anything, guess what I did? I sat mm -hmm. and I dreamed. I envisioned, what if I knew what I would do? What would that be? And I spent about five to 10 minutes thinking about what would I like to see? It's hard to see when you don't know where you're going. Again, to be lost in the right direction. 
that's what life is about. Sometimes you don't really have all the answers, but you do have to feel open because when you're open, um, you know, you are, it's like, you know, Krista walking outside and seeing the possibilities on people, on colors, on the hues that are around her. This is what we do as people, you know. Um, I think that it's really important when you are dealing with something, either a product or a service that you offer to people, that you are open, that you're not stuck on the one thing. One of the things I love to say to people is, you know, even with my music now, yes, I'm a Christian artist. I know Christian music isn't for everyone, but here's what I'm about, okay? My mission is to actually express spirituality and my relationship with God uh, in a way that conveys to people that it is attainable. Most people mm -hmm. I know don't have a relationship with God, either because they think, oh, it's religion. And there's nothing wrong with religion, people. Anybody can have whatever they want. I'm not against anything. I think all, if people keep remembering that God is not exclusive, he's inclusive. So whatever you're doing is great. You know, we all, we know to be good people. So it's not really about having you believe in what I believe, but it is about having you relate to what I'm saying. Because my music is based on my own experiences as a human, not as a super superhuman. Obviously, we're not superhuman, but a lot of people think, "Oh, yeah, you're wait, spiritual, wait, wait, so wait. you're above." I'm, I'm, I'm superhuman. I'm sorry. I am, you are. I'm, I'm <laughs> <superhuman. laughs> but you know what I'm saying? It's like I if do. we if we convey to people that whatever it is that you believe in, you really believe in. OK, because it's not about really, oh, I have this thought or this, you know, you, you have to be the change you want to see. You have to walk the talk. It, these sounds like cliche things to say, but it's so true because when you are aligned with the things you believe in, people will get it, whether mm -hmm. they believe in the same thing you do or not. So important. We learn when we relate. Right. When we relate, yeah. we learn. So same thing I do for my music, for my business, if I may bring that up now, um, I have a small business, very small business. My company is called the Baby Flamingo Company. Uh, Baby Flamingo, why? There were just too many bears and giraffes and, and all <laughs> kinds of things. I had to think of something different, right? So um, I have to show you this little logo that I created because um, when I first started my company, I was thinking of a logo. And my fear was that if I said flamingo, people would relate to Florida. I love Florida. Right. But I didn't want people to think pink flamingos because then it would convey about summer. And I was trying to create a baby product. I don't know if you can see, but you see the little flamingos. It's so cute. It's, it's backwards because it's on the screen. But you see the little heart on the, on the mama. Well, that's the mama flamingo there. And that's the baby flamingo. The and daddy the, has oh, a tie. So the mama has eyelashes. See, Crystal honoring the I makeup. I love it. See the little eyelashes. <laughs> She's probably using 3D lashes or something, right? <laughs> She has like these great lashes, but that's the baby flamingo. And the whole idea was, you know, what was Daya about? Daya was about love always. Everything you see that I do has a heart on it because that's my life. You know, everything has to do with love and sharing. So I created this product called the baby flamingo, um, the mama taco towel, actually, sorry. The name of my product is the mama taco towel. And I have one to show you. I'm sitting on the floor, so I don't know if you can see it. This is actually the, the halter top ties. Okay. The mama taco towel is a hand-free hands-free towel for mommies and babies. So basically you put it on before the bath. I'm gonna try to show you that it looks like a huge taco, tortilla, whatever, so you can't even see me, see? It's round, it's yellow, and it looks like a little tortilla. Oh, that's it cute. Comes, it comes with these two, oh, let me get myself pretty over here, lost my headphones. Um, <laughs> I don't wanna look messy. Um, comes with this little accessories called the Lettuce, wash your fingers and tomatoes. Oh wash my cloth, God. Wash cloth, uh, cloth and sponge set. This is the lettuce. See the oh little God. lettuce? Stop. It's a little. That's it's adorable. adorable. <laughs> I have a and baby. A little tomato. A little he tomato. So it's, you know, basically you get your baby on the oh back. The, to <laughs> the towel itself has a little taco pocket. See? In the little taco pocket, you can put your little, put your little uh, Q-tips and, and, um, little cotton balls. This is really to encourage women to prepare, okay? Because I have five kids. So you know, when I gave my first baby a bath <laughs> 28 years ago, I almost dropped her on her head. Oh my I God. Didn't, I <laughs> didn't know what I was doing. The towels were flimsy. I was like standing backwards, you know, trying to hold her. My husband was standing there with a towel. It took like, almost like it looked like we needed 50 people to bathe this tiny little baby. 
So eventually I came up with, you know, I got to do something. Most of the time I would actually forget to bring the towel to the station. Somebody mm -hmm. told me, you know, before you bathe your baby day, set up your station, like your little tub, your little shampoo, bring your little cotton balls. I was lost, girl, I was lost. But eventually I started getting it. So I said, you know, I'll tuck the towel in here, right? But the towel would fall. Whole idea is you want to make sure your baby is safe. So your hands are free. You have your hands on your baby the whole time. And by the way, disclaimer time, this is not a carrier, okay? Because I don't want anybody trying my towel and say, <laughs> I dropped my baby. No, let me actually do a little demonstration because it's important for people to see what you mean, right? We want to be on the disclaimer. I'm all about disclaimers. Oh, so am I. <laughs> it's a little creepy because it's a doll. I don't have a baby. People, I've had five kids. I ain't having no more babies. Um, <laughs> it's a little doll um, that I'm going to use. Obviously, before the bath, you want to dress your baby down to a diaper. I, I actually used to unfasten the diaper so it was easier to remove. Um, this towel is actually front facing and rear facing. So if your baby is tiny, a newborn, you actually face the baby towards you. Common sense, right? You would use this towel just like you use a regular towel. You keep your baby warm before the bath. You have your little station ready. Oh you walk gosh. over with him, right, or with her. And it. you... When it's time to get the baby in the tub, people remember to hold your baby. Use your hands just like you use with a normal towel. You stick your hand in, you open up the towel, you get your little baby's head secured, and you place the baby in the tub. Now the baby's in the bath. Poor baby. It's okay, honey. So you pretend, you know, let's pretend the baby's in the tub. Now you have hands free. You could put your little hand on the baby, wash the baby, use your little, um, little sponge to wash the baby's little head. You know what I'm saying? Use your little washcloth to wash the baby's back, etc. Um, and obviously, when you're done, this is where you pick up your baby. You have free hands. You don't no longer have to look for the towel like I used to turn around. Oh, forgot the towel. The towel is right there on you, ready to go. You wrap your baby. Then my suggestion always is, of course, safety. You find a, a safe diaper changing surface like a bed or the floor, a blanket. You put your baby down. Have another towel on the ground, okay? Because my towel is actually a, a specialty product. It's a very fine fabric. It's not like cotton. It absorbs water beautifully, but slowly. So it, this is perfect. It's almost like a little robe you put on on your baby. You sort of press the baby. Uh, listen, if you are in a hurry, do not use this because you, you know, this is about the experience, right? You want it to be organic and sweet. A lot of women have emailed me and said, I nurse my baby. You know, a lot of times they cry. You know how babies cry when they're in the tub because they're cold? Well, you put them in the towel, they immediately quiet down because it's so soft and cuddly. Then you can nurse your baby. Then you can put them down on another uh, surface again. Hands on the baby, people, both hands. You put them down, and now you're ready to get your baby dressed. So these are the little tips for the Mama Taco Towel. What I love about my business is, even though it's small, I started in 2005, and I went to a good friend of mine, and I said, listen, I'm thinking about starting a company with my towel. She goes, you're going to start a company with one product? I'm like, dude, how many do you have? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> What's up? I mean, you would think, right? A friend would say, oh, day, I go for it. Don't worry about people. They're always going to be haters out there. Don't listen. Because I didn't listen, guess what happened? In 2010, I'm online saying, wow, I really love my product. Didn't have a lot of time to invest in it or money. So I kind of took it step by step. But I'm sitting on the computer Saturday morning thinking, I wish there was something. I ran across a contest, a national contest by Kimberly Clark Huggies. And they were offering $15,000 grants to women who have startup companies just to help them get to the next level. Of course, I looked at it and I said, nah, they were, nah, I would never get it. I mean, $15,000, really? This sounds amazing. Then I said, ah, check it out. So I opened the page and there was all these things. I read it, still not convinced. Then there was a little submission form example. So I clicked on it. I opened it and I was like, oh my gosh, that's my company. Like, it's just like my company, the same kind of features, very startup, I'm gonna apply it. I opened the form, now I have to write a grant proposal. Now I have no, I had no business background, so I'm like, how am I gonna do this? It took me a whole week to write it. Um, I was freaking out, I'm gonna run out of time. This is now the final stages of the competition. I'm like, they're gonna close the submission. I don't have time, I'm freaking out, but I got through it, okay? Got through it, and about two months later, I get a call. You know, I thought it was a prank call, right? Because they're like, are you Dea Viola? I'm like, yeah. Well, I'm so-and-so from um, 
uh, the, the innovation department of Kimberly Clark. I didn't even know Kimberly Clark, Clark was Huggies. I mean, I didn't know it was the same company, so I was lost. I thought it was a prank. Well, you're one of our finalists for the fit for the for the Huggies Mom Inspired Grant Award, and I was like, "Is this a joke?" They're like, "No." I said, "Can you explain again?" Anyway, long story <laughs> short, I am the proud recipient of the Huggies Mom Inspired Award. Very nice. <laughs> And what was funny about it was there were 474 entries that year and 12 companies were picked. So when I finally got to talk to them, they said, you know, we had our 12 contestants picked. But when your towel came in, we said, we're going to dump someone, whoever you are. I'm so sorry. Um, they, they took him out of the contest and they got my towel in last minute. I literally had sent my submission, clicked, got a, got a notification. They received my submission and then... They got another another uh, another uh, notification saying the contest is now closed. So I just they just barely made it. So it was totally meant to be. Now I was open, you know. I didn't never knew where I was going. I really felt lost at the time with my business. But this really has added a lot of um, a lot of depth to what I was set out to do. Now my product did not go retail. I'm much like Crystal, you know. I like quality, and and it, it is expensive. It isn't. It's not a money make, making product for me. But I still run my business for friends and family, for local, every now and then I get in an online order. It's perfect. But here's what the best thing about my business. Because of it, I was approached by an organization who wanted to know how I made my product. And I said, well, my first product, I actually created my own prototype because I sew. Obviously, I couldn't make hundreds of these. So I was working with a company out in uh, Minneapolis called Im Imago Limited. So, um, they're like, well, we're trying to do this project with pads in Africa and it, obviously to, talking about global giving. So my company did not go retail. My company went global, as in global giving. I'm so proud to say that because Aww. see, this is something I never planned to have. I was brought, it was brought to my attention that in Africa, because of the, they're so poverty stricken and it's, this is a very common issue of countries that don't have a lot of resources like we do. Not having water, running water, creates a problem for these girls. And then during that time of the month, they don't have a place to go. So what do they do? They sit by the river. And when they sit by the river, they miss three or four days of their school year. At the end of the year, they missed so many days, 60 to 70 days out of the school year. So they fall behind in their education. I was honestly devastated when I heard about this. First of all, never complained again about having a period. I thought, <laughs> my God, I was so stricken by this thing. I thought I was, it struck me hard because I had two daughters and I thought, what would it be like if we didn't have high access to hygiene? People, hygiene is a privilege. It should be a right to all and it isn't. And it's heartbreaking. So I really love this project. So I manufacture them from home. I'm a, spon a sponsor of the Gly Feminine Cloth Pads for young girls in Africa. It's a school called uh, Victory School in Uga Uganda. The organization that I work for is called Humanity Healing International. You can look them up on online, humanityhealing.org. Um, great mission, great mission. Um, obviously, we're not to try to end world hunger because I think this is a it's a consciousness issue. You know, it's something that the whole world would have to shift to end. But um, we can do something. We can't do everything, but everyone can do a little something. You know, this is what charity is all about. So. Um, by doing this project and other projects that we do with Humanity Healing, it's the mission is to sort of bring hope into communities that have little hope or have lost hope. So we create sustainable, sustainable and immediate solutions for those, um, those communities. So it's a beautiful thing. So like I said, you know, when I started my company, I didn't know where it was going to lead me. I'm so glad it led me to do global giving and be a part of something much greater than myself. Um, I think that we are to be the change we want to see again. I love this. And, I, and this is not my phrase, by the way. This is a, a, a phrase that I heard in a beautiful song recently um, by a, a young man by the name of Charles Preston. Um, his song actually won a contest in, into this kindness movement. And basically the song says, you need to be the change you want to see. And it, it, it is so true. So, 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 mm -hmm. so, so true. Um, so, there it is. So it's a little bit more about me. So I have my little company and how do I do everything? How do I balance everything? Again, I don't do everything every day. I do a little bit every day. Um, and, and that's it. Cool. So Crystal, what are the challenges that you, you face as a business owner uh, when you when, when it comes to 
your business and not only that but i mean there's so many other makeup companies out there and things like that so what makes what sets you apart from everyone else what makes you different okay well um first of all uh what makes me different is uh, honestly customer experience i mean everything in my line can be customized to your individual needs and concerns so if you have thin lips and you want a lip plumper i can do that if you like yourself if you have, um, you know, you don't like lipsticks to be too loud or you need them to be the right shade of pink, I can create that for you. Um, and on top of that, I create a customized buyer experience <laughs> because um, <laughs> when you contact Pink's Little Cosmetics, you're speaking to me. So if you need help with um, what browns are you, works for your shade, um, you, I'm accessible, I think, is the difference. Um, and I'm here and I'm able to serve and provide by giving you guidance steering you in the right direction, recommending products that work for you, not just for my pockets. And I think that's a big deal. I won't suggest that you wear this red lipstick if it looks terrible on you, where a lot of um, other cosmetic companies are so sales focused, they'll sell you anything, even if it doesn't look good. Mm-hmm. And then it'll sit in, your, they got the money now, it'll sit in your junk makeup drawer, and then you never use it, which means other women don't get to compliment it. So I get no cross marketing. You know, so I um, right. I try to make it right the first time. And also, I'm willing to admit when I've made a mistake. If I ship something incorrectly, I'll replace it. Tell us you know that. Um, and, mm-hmm. and I think there's so um, so few companies that are customer-focused fo- and centered. Um, the second thing is our products are high impact. I'm wearing all my own stuff, my highlighters, my blush, my contour, the lip color. Everything is, is mine. Um, and so they're high impact, high performance, but... Um, we have, our products have an average of an 85% organic content. So oh, wow. while the makeup is high performance, it's also still good for you. Now, um, I'm very uh, transparent with my ingredients. I have an ingredient list on my website. If you call me and ask for the ingredients of any of the products that for some reason may not be listed there, I would gladly give those to you. And I can even formulate it to not have the items that you may be concerned about. So that, that oh, that's definitely... Amazing. That's definitely one difference. Um, also, the products um, are really unique. Um, Lip Whip is really thick and creamy, high performance. It's not sticky, hyperpigmented. Um, we have uh, the pretty powders that are micro fine. But my biggest, I think my biggest thing is my kit. I love this. Um, and <laughs> that that kit um, is the five minute makeover, and I made it because the, the women who women who are multitasking, right? And, and they have all these things to do. And I, one of the number one things I hear is, oh my God, your makeup is so pretty. I wish I had time to do that. And so I made that kit and, and, and the five minute makeover is a trademark term, just so you guys know, thank you. Um, so the five minute, um, <laughs> keeping it real, okay? It is a trademark of right. Celebrity Cosmetics and Crystal Carmen. So um, uh, the five minute makeover kit is really a great way for you to get a little bit of glam, bring a little bit of vitality to the face and stop the excuse of I don't have enough time. And um, actually mm-hmm. when tested, using the kit only takes three minutes. It, is it okay if I show the kit? Like what's in it? Go ahead. Okay. So this is, this is what the kit looks your like. Your time shine. Okay, so this is what the kit looks okay. like. It has three products and two brushes. If you look in the back, it's a label that tells you what's in it um, and how to use it. But anyhow, um, when you open the kit, and this bag comes with it, so it comes just like that, um, you're gonna get my glow powder, which is what's making my cheekbones glow right now. Ready. Um, you get a radiant blush. The one I'm wearing is Sun Kissed. It's one of my favorite and best sellers. And then you get a lip whip, which is what I'm wearing on my lips. And lip whips come in a jar, not a tube. And they're very pigmented. And so And I'm wearing lip whip too, and it's called rain, runway. Right, runway. <laughs> <laughs> and then it comes with two brushes. So you have the brush of the, the dream wand, which helps buff on the glow and the blush. And then you have a lip brush. Or you can also use this if you prefer a retractable lip brush. This can also be used to apply the bronzer <laughs> to the lids because they are um eye safe. And then it all comes in a neat kit with the instructions. Um, and then the pink bag has a complimentary sample. And it's a reusable bag because mm. we do try to be as eco-conscious as possible. So everything here is reusable and just stores really neat in the reusable pouch. Very pretty. So, um, Very so that's, awesome. that's a solution that I created 
um, you know, for the woman on the go because of the multitasking. And I just want to talk about what you had originally asked, which is how do you balance? And I think your idea was excellent about um, doing one thing a day. I also have a technique that I use, and I also want to say something about balance. And um, this might not be what you're expecting me to say, but I'm here to be real. I feel you should be. I feel that until you've until you've quote unquote made it right, until you've actually developed a way to delegate ninety percent of your responsibilities, there is no balance. And I like you got to choose what is going to be in front. If I if I told you that I balance it, I'd be lying. You know, there's times that I'm at work when I could be with my kids. There's times where I'm in New York at a show when my kids would prefer that I was at a park with them. Um, Mm -hmm. There's times where I have to run to a class and there's dishes in the sink. So Mm -hmm. it's you know, I got to decide at that moment. What is the bigger picture? What is my end game? And I think if you ask yourself, what's the end game? There, it's going to be on balance for a while. You're going to say, my end game is, I'll be honest with you. I want to be, I don't want to say the next, but I want to be on Estee Lauder status. Like I want to formulate makeup. I want to have subgroups, sub brands. You know, I want to be a, a household name. That is my, my main goal, right? So I'm going to do the best that I can. Remember, the best that I can with the resources available to me. And so that means that the carpet might not always be vacuumed every day. And it might mean that I'd have to buy an outfit today instead of do the laundry. But the point is that, um, that it gets me closer to my goal and another step. Uh um, And then later on, I'll be able to have a nanny. I'll be able to have someone to help me prep meals. I'll be able to, you know, buy the Roomba that goes and vacuums for me. <laughs> you know? um, so, so my 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 motto is I'm gonna just keep I'm gonna right. keep grinding until I make enough money to not have to worry about balance. Right. Beyonce doesn't have to worry about balance. Beyonce has no. Uh, she just some, makes music. Listen, somebody can cook for her. Somebody clean can clean <laughs> for her. Somebody can raise that baby. I mean, the way the world works, she can have that baby breastfed fed by someone else. <laughs> so, I feel like you know, you just keep striving toward it, and you do the best that you can. I do take moments with my kids that are precious, you know, and it's the quality, not the quantity. And then, and then I just go out there, and they see me. And you know what I'm doing is, even though they know that I'm busy. And I may not be there every single moment when they're able to walk into an Ivy League college and pay cash. That's when it's going to start to matter when they're able to, mm-hmm. to start their own business or I'm able to buy her a car at 16, something my parents couldn't afford to do for me. That's when you start. They, they start to notice. Um, mm-hmm. And another method I have is the five minute blitz. And I got to tell you guys about this. So the five minute blitz is. Um, basically I just take five minutes on, I have like a laundry list, like a a laundry list of things I've got to do. Right. And then I'll just five minutes of each task. And it sounds crazy, but if, if you keep doing that throughout the day, so I I do the laundry for five minutes and I'll go and I'll take it out, I'll dry uh, the wash and put it in and dry it. Okay. So now I'm like, Oh, let me sort the other clothes. But if the five minutes are up, I got to stop. That's it. Wow. Because here's the thing, especially when you're creative and you may be able to relate to this when you're creative and you start on a project, sometimes you get so obsessed. You can't be like, Oh, let me just finish this. It'll only take a minute. And no, it doesn't. Three three hours of your day just went on that. Three hours hours later. Right. So that's why I'm like, okay, just five minutes. And then if I know for certain I can finish it in an extra minute, I'll do it. But at five minutes, and then I move on. Five minutes of dishes. And then when I go back for the next round of five minutes, because the whole point is to cycle through your list again, there might be no dishes in the sink. And, and that task was accomplished. So, um, you know, so that's just, I have a dishwasher, by the way. But, but, <laughs> <laughs> but, but, I'm, but I, I did it always. And, and, and that's how we got through that. And, um, and also being able to delegate. Before I was like, oh, I don't want my daughter having to clean up after the house. I, that's not her job. But she's also 14 years old. And, and I'm out here making money so I can provide a better life for her. 
So if she can take care of simple tasks like, you know, washing her, at least her own laundry or, or, or washing the dishes that cannot be put in a dishwasher, um, you know, I, I stopped feeling guilty about that because of, of the benefits that, that are coming forth from it. So that, that's the true feeling that I have anyway about the uh, work um, life balance. You know, um, mm -hmm. you just work until you don't need to balance anything. Got it. <laughs> I want to shout out my homegirl, Cookie Lugo. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. She actually loves the whole five minute uh, pack and wear option idea. So she'll be contacting you whenever she's ready to, I guess. I don't know. She just said, give Crystal Carmen a shout out for me. So there you oh, go. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and of course, um, I want to shout out Queen Size Magazine, Tawana. Thank you so much for tuning in. She actually loves Dea's idea. She said that's a great um, baby shower gift. Aww, so definitely, you. Thank you. Definitely, we'll do that. So Dea, since we have about, like, I'll extend the show for, like, maybe an extra 10 minutes. I know that you wanted to do something special yes. for the audience. Yes. Before I go, I wanted to, um, I want to do something funny. I mean, it's not funny, but it's funny because I was told before... I was telling everyone I'm going to be on the show with Dillis. And I said, you know, I was thinking about a couple of different things to do. And I ran that by you yesterday. Mm -hmm. And I was explaining how my whole thing is I love that when we are women in general, you know, we are very nurturing. Right. Mm -hmm. So I don't see I see that we're together. We're much stronger. Right. So mm -hmm. I think it's all about praising other people, bring them along with you when you can. I've been in situations and in interviews that literally you have seven minutes to speak and there was really no time to bring someone in, meaning say something that somebody's doing that's really nice. But um, I was so touched, so, so moved and so changed by this weekend with Lucinda Cross that two, two products, of one is a product and one is a person that really stuck with me. Um, and I wanted to share their products because I thought I shouldn't go out of here you know, Lucinda said something during the vision board party. Do you remember? She said, bring the goods, whatever you have, share with people. Don't be afraid mm -hmm. to share who you are, what you do, whether it has something to do with, I think it, whether it has something to directly to do with what you're doing, but something that you are. And like I said, I am love. I share. Um, so I'm going to share two things with you. The first one is my friend, Justice Carter. I don't know if you could see her little card, but I'll read her website. I see it. Um, mm -hmm. www.justus, mm -hmm. right? Because I think she's trying to say justice, but it's the word just and then us, uh, sense.com. Mm -hmm. Justice sells uh, candles and little aromas like oil. For oh, you. I know Justice. I know her. This Justice is love. That woman is a beautiful heart. When I open my little uh, yeah. swag bag, I have this beautiful candle that smells so holiday ish. And I thought, what a beautiful surprise because <laughs> I really connected with her. And when I got home and I opened my bag, I was like, yay. She had walked over to me and given me this little aroma from my house, which is uh, ginger lime. So I want to give a shout out to Justice Carter. Um, again, her uh, she's on Facebook. Um, email address is just us scents at gmail.com. These are great gift mm -hmm. items, little things that you may want to give someone you work with. The other product was this incredible, beautiful silk head wrap that was in the bag. I thought it was actually a oh, headband. Yeah. I thought it was a headband and because I have trouble with tight things on my head, I get headaches. When I opened, I was like, whoa, look at this thing. It is long, beautiful printed silk scarf. It looks like a scarf, mm -hmm. right? Um, I absolutely love this. And I was like, well, I'm not really one that would buy a headband. But I, I even contacted them and I said, you know, I could use it as a scarf. I know it's not matching my T-shirt, but I wore a white, <laughs> a white shirt the other day and it looked beautiful. And I thought, hey, pretend you're out. First Line Brands, by the way, let me not forget to say the name since I'm trying to shout out. Uh, First Line Brand Products. First Line Brands with an S at the end. Um, and this is the, the thing. So you go out with a scarf in the morning, then your hair gets all messed up and you want just a different look. It's right there. You know, you just wrap it. And of course, you don't want to go. Yeah, you don't want to look like a bunny. Right. So you move the <laughs> you move this to the side. <laughs> you know, I didn't do this right. I don't have my glasses on. But, you know, you move it to the side. And now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh. So beautiful. So <laughs> beautiful. Like... So I love them. I, I sent them a message and I said, listen, is it OK if I posted a picture as a scarf? I mean, I don't want to you know, steer you away from the headband product, but to right, this, right. it's on you. It's right there. You know what I'm saying? Beautiful. Love them. 
love them. So yeah, so let me unplug myself and try to get myself down to the to my little surprise. She's, I'm just gonna she's, <laughs> let's see if I can accomplish this, not have the wires all over me here. You're gonna see me walking, so I'm walking downstairs. Be careful, be careful. Yes, be careful here. Can you imagine if I fell down? That would have no, been like, I don't want to imagine that at all. No, <laughs> this I don't want live. that on my show. This is live I don't want show. That on my show. <laughs> live show for you people. You fall. Okay, so um, yeah, by the way, Crystal, who... I love what you said about the balance thing because let me tell you something. My laundry, I don't know. <laughs> my laundry doesn't, I mean, it's a mountain, you know, like what? You know what I'm saying? Like, there's never a day when I'm I'm doing I'm, I'm sometimes doing the laundry. It's all done, and I have a full hamper. I'm like, well, whatever. It, it never ends. Really, it never ends. No, listen. <laughs> my my biggest thing with the laundry is that it's all, my house will be full, uh, like messy with clean clothes. Like I just don't. <laughs> like, That's me. <laughs> I'm like. I mean, it's clean though. I know where my dress is. It's in that basket right there. <laughs> so, yeah, so I totally understand the never ending laundry. I have a teenager who thinks she's a supermodel and oh, wants to change just to go outside and change to go to the store. I'm trying to set this up, but it's like, um, I don't know if I'll be able to do this because of where I am on the piano. My, my computer may fall. <laughs> so, let's see what, what I wanted to do. It was a little, see if you, can you hear this? Let me see if the levels are good. Can you hear that? Hi. Yep. All right. So I'm just doing a little part of a song so I don't do the whole thing. Um, before I do this song, it's called, the song is called um, You're My Peace in the Storm. This song I have not recorded yet. Uh, it was inspired by a bad day. <laughs> I use Facebook as a positive outlet for myself and for others, of course, always. Um, and uh, that day, for some reason, I posted something that I normally wouldn't post. Just having a little bit of a struggle with the school. And I said something, oh, you know, I'm so frustrated. I immediately got so many messages from people who said, oh, my gosh, what happened? You're never upset. What happened? I was like, and it's not that I don't want to be real. I mean, believe me, I get upset. I'm Brazilian. You know what I mean? I get upset. <laughs> but um, what, what happens is, you know, I choose to use it as a positive platform. I'm not saying it's, you know. Right or wrong, people could do whatever they want. Like I said, I'm open. But that particular day, I vented on Facebook, and I got this beautiful message from a wonderful, beautiful person that said, you know, I, I hope you feel good. I don't know what happened, but I'm sending peace in the storm. And it made me think about what it is that centers me, what it is that gives me peace. You know, of course, you, you, by now, you know what it is. Since I'm a Christian artist, um, you know that I center myself in, in prayer and, and with God in Christ. So I wrote this song called um, From My Peace in the Storm. I'm going to try to do a very short version of it. Okay. I may make mistakes because I'm not a pianist by all means, but let's see. I use the piano to write music. Bye. 
you know and this is this is really what i believe you know i think that everyone should have a center whatever that is um i was interviewed recently by this beautiful woman from canada the other day she says tell us one thing that that really helps you in everything i said you know i have this uh, my theory name is the airplane mode emergency landing mode i don't know if you know <laughs> what that is if you've ever taken a plane and you get on the plane and there is an emergency thank god i've never been in one they instruct you to, as the masks drop, to put the mask on yourself first and then help your children or your fellow passengers. Um, this is pretty much how life is for me. You know, I get up every day. I put my mask on, put my mask on. For me, that is prayer. So I start my day with prayer before everybody wakes up. And now I have a whole hour of getting people ready and lunch boxes, and, you know, put on your coat, wear your shoes, you know, crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, um, but, you know, if I feel that it helps me get started, you know, if I'm centered, then I am more likely to have, I better not have bad days too. And, and, you know, people say, oh, I wish I could start over. I'm like, you mean you don't start over every hour? I start over every hour, every hour. There are days when I got to do it every hour. There are days when, hey, listen, there are days when I get up, I'm like, yeah, baby, I do my little dance. Everything went great. But there are days when it's really hard. It's really hard, especially when you're walking a life with a sense of, you know, spiritual responsibility where you've owned, you know, like Crystal says, you know, you do the best you can with what you have, but you want to put, you are your business card, right? Everything mm -hmm. you do, everything that you touch. So it has to become a way of living. You know, if you are a loving person and you have a business like yours, Crystal, who is beautiful because it helps women be connected with themselves. We're taught not to worry too much about our appearances. I disagree with that. I think God wants us to be beautiful. He wants us to take pride in who we are, especially we women that are raising children. You know, we want our kids to be proud of us and look at us. It doesn't matter your hair, your color, your size. I don't care who you are. We are supposed to take good care of ourselves. And makeup is something that really makes us feel good. There's nothing wrong with that. So mm -hmm. if you walk what you believe in your heart, you know, and you use that as your mission, you are your business card. You know, what you do and how you show yourself out there is something that really touches people. So like I said, you know, find your center, whatever that is for you. Um, I have some friends who they drink wine, some drink coffee, some smoke a cigarette. Not that I'm endorsing any of it or or not saying is the right thing, but everybody has something that they do <laughs> that helps them start their day. And definitely don't, don't tell me you're going to have your day start the day once, okay? Because you can't start the day over <laughs> once. Some days you're going to start more than once. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, um, Tawana from Queen Size Magazine says, Daya, girl, make those lunches at night like me. So she says to make <laughs> lunches true. at night. <laughs> that is true. That is true. That is a really good idea. I do my preparation to the night before. You know, the shoes are on the steps. The clothes are all set out. Now I'm doing what Crystal's doing, telling my kids, hey, go put your shoes. Make sure you have an outfit <laughs> wait, ready. Wait, listen. I used to do it for everybody. Now I'm making them do it. Get it, get it ready. Let me tell you something. I, ha I have one trick that I do when we have to go somewhere together, like as a group, and it's really, really crazy early. I Don't judge me. But oh, I'm, like, I'm like, you guys need to take a shower and I need you to get fully dressed and you go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I say this. I'm like, look, like, especially if it's on the weekend and we have to go, like, you know, to an amusement park or something that's, like, right. really far out. I'm like, look. It's late. I let them stay a little later. Go bathe. Get yourself completely clean. Put your whole outfit on. And then in the morning, it's just car. It's ready. Out. No, that's true. You could put on sweatpants, sweatshirt, yes, you yes. Know, something soft and comfortable. I just I've done that myself. They don't put the shoes on, of course, but right, right, right. everything else is like your hair is done. Everything's right. gorgeous. You just got to go. Right. Just gotta go. No, that's a great idea. Great. Idea. And again, you know, we're come on now. We're women, right? Right. Resourceful, nurturing. We're mediators. We're managers. We are maids. We are. We do everything. We do everything. But like I said, again, we can't do everything every day. But we can do a little bit every day. That's really I mean, all that is to it. True. Um. So Van Fab <laughs> Van Fabella says, sending my sending love to my dear and talented friend, a ultra multitask woman with a beautiful family. God bless you. I don't know who that is. Is that for you? We are special. I do that. Okay. So, ladies, um, 
coming to the end of the show. Thank you so much for tuning uh, for coming on the show and thank you oh, so much wait, for everyone. Uh, well, I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet, but oh, um, I was just saying, I gotta tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> but um, Crystal, um, one one message to you know people who are wanting to be entrepreneurs and business owners. What would be that message to them? And also. Um, give us your website, your information, your social media ha hangout ha handle, like everything where we can reach you. What, but one message to people that are looking to be business owners or women. Um, if there's one thing that I can tell entrepreneurs is um, you need to develop a don't quit plan. And um, what, I, what I mean by that is one of the uh, things that I had to do with myself because I kind of get discouraged or at least at that time I did easily is I said, I'm going to dedicate at least one year to this business. And I don't, and no matter what happens, no matter how hungry I am, no matter what lights get turned off, no matter what happens, I'm going to keep doing it. And at the end of the year, if I haven't, you know, no one wants to buy my makeup and it's not working, then I will give it up and I will try something new. Um, and, and what that did is it gave me a commitment to myself. And then I, it doesn't matter what happens because if, if, if I got no sales during those three months, which I did no sales for three months, my first um, time, and you know, I had to keep pushing cause I had a few more months to go and I kept doing that. And it gives you the strength you um, you need to go on. And even if you set that uh, date longer, like I'm going to give this all I have for two years, you know, but you have to do that for yourself because ultimately things are going to happen. Adversities will come and you never know when that moment is right. A phone call away or quit away, as they say. And there's mm -hmm. often times where I've been like, I'm tired. I can't. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Why is nobody like shopping this month? Or whatever, and then the next thing you know, I'll get I got an inquiry for twenty five thousand units of my product. So wow. you just you have to keep going and, and and commit to yourself. And um, if you can get ten people, here's another tip: if you can get ten people to agree wholeheartedly that they're gonna purchase your product or they're interested in it, time ten times nine times out of ten, they're that's a good uh, business. So you gotta <laughs> dedicate it to yourself. That's right. Um, and then another tip is that if you don't know what to sell and you have an entrepreneurial spirit, uh, dump out your bag, your purse if you're a woman, your wallet if you're a man, um, your backs, your sack, uh, backpack or sack, um, because it, the, everything that you're willing to carry out of your house is something that people will buy. Mm -hmm. sure. Okay, so that's that. Um, and then um, social media, how to find me? First of all, my website is. PinkStilettoCosmetics.com. That's P-I-N-K-S-T-I-L-E-T-T-O Cosmetics, C-O-S-M-E-T-I-C-S.com. And um, what I wanted to say is that I've actually created a promo code for anybody who's watching or tuning in right now. Now, I never have a coupon code without a restriction, but I'm doing it for you, um, Dillis. It's 15% off of any... <laughs> 15% off for any order. It doesn't matter what it is. Wow. It doesn't matter how much it is or what have you. You're getting 15% off with the code SIP, S-I-P, chat, C-H-A-T. Oh. So SIP, chat, all together, no space, will get you 15% off for anything on the website, um, including the five-minute makeover. Um, and you can also find me on social media under Crystal Carmen, C-R-Y-S-T-A-L-C-A-R-M-E-N, um, Crystal Carmen 11 on Twitter and on Blab. Um, and you'll also find me on Instagram under Crystal Carmen Official. Thank you so much. Ah, uh, that made me tear up. You put sip chat. Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I love Crystal. Great. So, Dale, what? What's right. that? Thank you, honey. What? What message do you have? And what is your um? All your your handles, all your information. I said. So my message is: remember to do that one thing every day. Some days you're not going to be able to do everything. Do at least one thing. Um, um, my, my handles. Okay. So you can find me on Facebook as Christian artist, Dea, Dea spells D E A. You can find my music on Christian artist, Dea dot band camp dot com. I'm on Instagram as Christian artist, Dea and on Twitter as Christian art, Dea wouldn't let me write artists too long. Yeah. Um, and uh, my companies, the ones that I want to give a shout out today for the Baby Flamingo Company is my company online. Um, also, to find out about the charity that I do, humanityhealing.org. 
And I just want to remind everyone one more time to check out Lucinda Lucinda uh, Cross's page, www.lucindacross.com, and look for that uh, vision board party 2016. Yeah, that bit, she really went on that vision board party. Daya got some, lots of stuff out of it, but that's I cool. did. You know, I went to perform, <laughs> but I, I was so interested in doing my vision board. I was, girl, I was on the floor. I was cutting, was pasting. I was. <laughs> so, but thank you, ladies, so much for coming on my show. Thank you for being oh, real, thank you. transparent, thank you. and honest about everything that you do. And I celebrate you both. You know, I love you, Crystal. You're like, I always talk, I told Crystal the other day, she is one of my inspira- inspirations and one of, um, my role models because she's been doing this for a very long time and her business sense is absolutely brilliant. And I look to her for counsel, especially business counsel when I'm going through stuff. And when I feel like I want to give up or be discouraged, I just look at her page and I just inbox her like, Hey doll, what's going on? So, you know, always celebrate you. You know that I'm always going to support you. Love you like a sister. I'm going to wear my runway. Yes. (laughs) <laughs> that looks beautiful on you. It, it looks beautiful on you, and that red is um that red is very very flattering um on your yeah. skin tone too. So it's a yeah. great shade. If you like that, you'll like this one. This is caliente. I'm not wearing runway. I today. was looking at that one. I was like, is she wearing runway? She's wearing caliente, so that's yeah. good. But the person that sent that message to you, Dea, was Vanessa. Van- my friend Vanessa Falabella, beautiful singer, yes. by the way. Yes. If you love Brazilian music, very talented. I think my twin sister is there too. Hi, Claire. Yeah. Clea and Dea, Clea and Dea. Yeah, Clea. Oh, and um, Dillis, I was gonna tell you that um, I also, if you guys want tips and tricks from me, um, mm-hmm. I'm on, I'm the beauty editor for BeautyTodayOnline.com and for Queen Size magazine. magazine. Congratulations! I know Tawana just posted that, so yeah, I'll definitely do that. Definitely do that. All right. And, oh um, thank you, Miss Dillis, for inviting me. Welcome. Had so much fun. You're welcome. Thank you guys for coming and thank you for the performance there. That was amazing. We were like, sing, oh, girl, sing. <laughs> <laughs> sing for your life. I know. Sing for your life, life. baby. So, sing away. Sing. <laughs> but Aww. thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for everyone that participated. Shout out to Cookie Logo again. Thank you for Tawana from Queen Size Magazine, from Clea, and from Vanessa, and from Walid and and Okay, really? Really? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Before really? you go, yes. Crystal, did you say you have a baby? She does. She has a baby. Crystal I has do. A baby. I, I do. All right. I, private message me. That's why private, I was... me- private message me. I'm going to send you a towel. She's going to send you a towel. Oh, okay. I'm going to send you a towel. Private <laughs> message you. me with your address. I so love that it. I it's adorable. Send it to you. By the way, it's I'll from birth shorter. up to three years. It's from birth oh, up to three years Oh, he's only 10 months. He's 10 months. Oh, it's perfect because it's like, you know, when your baby's like trying to move around and you don't want you want to have your hands <laughs> yes. free. Very no, good. When you were doing that, I was like, oh, I love oh, it. Really? I inboxed my husband while you were doing it. I'm like, hey, <laughs> she sells this towel. You, you send me your address <laughs> and I'm going to send it to you. I will definitely do that. Now, I already plugged you when you were saying that. I yes, had already did. tagged you onto my Facebook awesome. wall. Mm-hmm. Yes, Thank I you. did. Thank you. I love, love it. I love it. Thank you. Beautiful. <laughs> This let's, is why definitely, I let's definitely exchange our information, be each other's supporter. Here's a really quick. You're doing business and you know people who are doing business, support them. Exactly. Support them, support one another. Because you never know, you know, how things are going to 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 happen. You know, well, I just had someone right. tell me the other day, oh my God, you gave a shout out to my business. They're sending me a whole box of products. I'm like, <laughs> you well, never know, right? This is why I have this show. This is one of the reasons why um I created the Sip and Chat Movement Online Hour is to help people give them a platform for their businesses and to just help because we're here networking. It's all about networking. And like I explained to Dea the other day, it's not about competition. It's about community. And I think everyone has an, an opportunity to make money. Everyone has an opportunity to, to market their brand and do whatever it is that they do. Yes, I'm a lifestyle coach, empowerment speaker, author, and there are so many authors and speakers out there, but I'm never going to discredit them in no way, shape, or form because we all do something completely different and we're all authentic in what we do. Right. And you, you know, know what? When you actually take you that know, stand, you are really making that point. But like I said, you are your business card because it takes confidence in yourself to be able to support others. There's so many people out there who are like afraid you're taken away from them. Yeah. Like, it doesn't take anything away from me. I mean, you could be a singer, you could be have your company. I would shout out, I tell everybody, go on Facebook and send me a private message if you're having a promotion. I don't get paid to do this. I had people call me, how much do you charge? I'm like, <laughs> I don't charge anything. I'm just, if I like your product, I'm gonna talk it up. 
would you say I don't, I don't want anything in return you know what were you gonna say crystal yeah, um, I was uh, I was just gonna say that um, there's a uh, there's a uh, quote that I, I can't for the life of me right now remember who says it, but you can um, when you're a candle, you know you your flame does not go out when you light other candles. Right. Mm -hmm. And um, and when I uh, when you know just even what I do with beauty, you know I teach other people now how to do makeup. And when I first went into that, I was so uncomfortable. I'm like, oh, I'm teaching everybody to do what I do. And then aren't I breeding my own competition? But it took a while for me to realize that mm -hmm. just because someone is is doing the same thing as you doesn't mean that they have the same qualities, personality, right. characteristics, right. Or, or you know, any of that. So basically, you can learn how to do makeup, but can you be a brand? Can you be exactly. a, a support? Can you be an encouragement and inspiration of people? Exactly. So it's just, at this point, I, I, you know, you can't teach that. Those are qualities that are within the person. Exactly. And so I do... So I have no problem giving now because I want to give other people the opportunity to, to be great or be the best at what they can be. And if I can be a platform for that and a way for them to be able to do it, then I want to do that. Exactly. Right. All right, ladies. So I'm going to sign off now, but thank you again. Much love, success, peace, positive energy, blessings Bye. to you both. And if I don't talk to you, well, I'm happy sure holidays. I'm talk to you guys, but happy <laughs> holidays and all that stuff, peace and love and, and all that good stuff. And um, yeah. So I will be signing off now and guys talk to you later and um, everybody, mm -hmm. um, everyone be at peace, happiness and energy and just be your authentic selves. And if you're traveling safely, if you're traveling, travel safely. If you're home, I'm happy that you're home. I wish you nothing but peace and blessings and everything else that life has to offer you. Create opportunities, create possibilities. You only have one life and every minute is an amazing a minute to create something amazing for yourself. I don't know if it was Gandhi said, that said it, but when you die at night, when you go to bed at night, you die. And then when you wake up, it's a rebirth. So every day when you make wake up, take that opportunity to create a new beginning. It's a rebirth. It's a rebirth. And you're, you're able to wake up in the morning as a lot of people are dying every second of the day. And it's not you. You're very fortunate. So take it and run the hell out of it. You know, any passion that you have, make those dreams become reality. Put them out there into the universe. Speak positivity over your life and the lives of others. Do those things and your life will be so rich and so fruitful. I promise you. Yes, you're going to have trials and tribulations around, along the way, but guess what? Who doesn't? Everyone does, but it's just being able to know within your heart, your spirit, your soul, your essence of who you are, that you are a survivor, you are a leader, you are a conqueror, and you will do everything in your power to do and just be the person that God and universe has created you to be, and life will be better. Like I always say, life is simple. We make it complicated. So stop uncomplicating the damn thing. <laughs> so... Dillis Davis, lifestyle coach, motivated speaker, author, creator, and founder of Sip and Chat Movement. I bid you adieu this Saturday afternoon, and I hope that you have an amazing weekend. Do everything that it is that you need to do within your power. Get some rest. Eat some great food. I'm going to go and have some more coquito, and I'm going to um, celebrate life. And I'm going to wear some more runway red lipstick. And tomorrow I will be at... Um, Bags, books, blings, and everything in between doing tie overs from 1 to 4, 8, 4, 4 a.m. Ha, I wish. 1 to 4 p.m. at Pearl Studios with Tawana, um, Sam, and Z Murphy. We'll, we're going to be doing like a holiday shopping thing. I think it's like a sip and shop type thing, but I'm going to be doing Tyra Banks beauty makeover. So if anyone wants to come out, it's free admission. And um, pretty much it will be from 1 to 4 p.m. Pearl Studios. 508th Avenue, 12th floor, room 1214, which is one of the bigger rooms. So come and get a free tie over from me, Dillis Davis. I have it all right now. And maybe I'll give you a, a bonus gift for just attending. So talk to you guys later. Blessings, peace, and positive energy and love. Thank you.